Okay, good evening, people. How are you? Fine. Okay, that's nice. Welcome to your English class. This is the class number. Okay, I'm going to begin by taking the attendance for today, Friday, November 18th. So let's start uh, with Alejandra Sofia Vasquez Carcamo. Thank you, Alejandra. Ana Carmen Sánchez. Present. Thank you, Ana. Brian Ismael Claros. Present, teacher. Thank you, Brian. Eh, Carmen Leonor Trejo. Okay. Diego Ismael Siquina. 
Ok, Diego es... <ríe> Diego. Ok. Um, Elvis, Giovanni, Bonilla, Cerritos. Present. Thank you, Elvis. Welcome. Vanessa García Sánchez. Present. Jacqueline. Um, Jacqueline Carolina Ávila. Jacqueline Carolina is not here. Okay. Jenny Lisette Valiente. Jessica Virginia Rosales. Present. Thank you, Jessica. Jimmy Roger Flores Hernández. Present. Thank you, Jim. José Alejandro Valladares. Present. José Osvaldo Reyes Durán. Present, teacher. Osvaldo, Crisia Lorena Ríos. Lorena de Los Ángeles Mengíbar. Ella viene en camino, Miss. Ok. Lorena de Los Ángeles Mengíbar. Ah, ok. And she's in the way. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Luis Ernesto Cibrián. Present teacher. Luis, Luis José Guardado Galdames. Present teacher. Thank you. Manuel Edgar Martínez. Margarita Beatriz Mancilla. Present. Thank you, Margarita. María José Navarro. Present. Marlene de Jesús Ramírez. Present, teacher. Wilber Alfredo Montoya. Um, Miguel Ángel Meléndez. He's right. Present, Miss. Okay. Sí, yes. Uh, no sé si voy a apagar por rato la cámara otra vez porque ahí sí voy a manejar. It's ok. Um, Mirna Rivas. Present. Thank you, Mirna. Natalie Cristina Roque. Natalie, it's not connected yet. Hortensia Stephanie. Hortensia Stephanie Rivera. Okay. Oscar Lisandro Rivera. Okay, and the other people that just has just connected, other people have just connected, Carmen Leonor Trejo, Jacqueline Carolina, okay, thanks, okay, very nice. So I'm going to share with you the class presentation, you will see it in a moment. In a moment, in a moment. <laughs> okay. Well, today's topic is what time is it? What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? What time is it right now? Can you tell me what time it is? Five o'clock. Six, eight, 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 six, eight, six, eight, six. Eight, eight, oh, six. Okay. Yes, eight o'clock. Okay. Eight o'clock? No, it's eight oh six. Eight oh six. Okay, we have the class number twelve. That is the topic. It's Friday, November 18, twenty twenty two. Thanks God, it's Friday. Yes, it's Friday. We have the weekend tomorrow. Well, the, to the objectives, well, by the end of this class, you will be able to talk about different cities and international time zones. Additionally, you will practice a conversation between two people in different time zones. By the end of this class, you will be able to ask and answer questions using time expressions and practice giving the time. So it's a nice topic, telling the time. But as a review of the previous class, we have this picture in which you can see a lot of people doing different activities at the same time activities that are happening in the moment. 
Okay, can you tell me what is the number one? He is walking dog. He is, he is, uh huh. He is walking his, his dog. Dog, yes. He, he is walking the dog. And you can type it in the chat. And I will type here number one. This is the number one, right? The number one. Okay, what about the number two? What is she doing? This is number two. Number two. She's knocking at the door. It's a little bit, okay? Number three. Number three. What is the number three? Can somebody tell me? He is riding his bike. Okay, he is riding his bike. He is riding. Remember, yesterday we learned the present continuous, and the present continuous. E R four activities. The present continuous is used to describe activities happening in the moment. Activities in the moment, in this moment or right now. And um, when we uh, use the present continuous, we um, the structure is subject. The verb to be, the verb in the ing form, and the complement. So, um, what is the number four? She is feeding the pigeons, and that is where, okay, is that the woman here, the old lady? Number four, she's feeding the pigeons. Have you seen this? Have you seen people in downtown San Salvador doing that? Feeding the pigeons with my CEO, right? There are people in downtown San Salvador in front of the palace, the national palace. There are many people feeding the pigeons. Okay. Number five. Number five. Can you tell me what is number five? What is the number five? A volunteer. Number five is this. Uh, it is uh, running uh, after cat. Exactly, it is running after the cat. The dog, right? It refers to the dog, the dog is running after the black cat. Um, number six. Number six. He's looking, he is looking out, out of the window. Very good, it's correct. And what is that? It's here, number six. He's looking out of the window. Okay, what about number seven? Number seven, she is watering the flowers. She's watering the flowers, right? Number seven. 
Okay, people, can you please complete the other ones? Yes, Luis. Luis. Eh, ¿Cómo sería? Sí, perdón. Hola, ¿cómo sería ahí la traducción, teacher? Ella regando, regando yeah. flores. Ah, okay. It's true. People, I need one minute. So, can you please complete the other sentences? You can complete in your notebook and you can type them, or you can type them in the chat, please. Okay. Help me with that. Thank you, guys. I had an emergency. Okay, so let's see. The number seven, she's watering the flowers. Number eight, they're playing the ball. Number nine, number nine, 
Marlene de Jesús. She is waiting to... No. El once... No. She is listening to music. That is number nine. Okay, and number eight. Ah, perdón. They are playing... They are playing ball. Okay. Yes, number 10, Luis Irian. The cat, the cat is jumping out the window. So, so you can see the, the cat. <laughs> okay, what about number 11? Uh, Jose Alejandro, vaya a Yes. Sliding in the park. He says sliding in the park. Sliding, it says. Number 11. Okay, what about number 12? Number 12, Carmen, no, no? She is waiting to cross the, the stream. A street. Yes, she's waiting to cross the street. That's correct. Number 13, Jimmy. Excuse me. Number 13. 13. Okay. Uh, she is pushing the stroller. Thirteen. Uh, 13. Uh, he, he is going to high school. He is going to high school. Sorry, he's going to school. He is going to school. Okay. Number 14. 14. Uh, Luis Galdames. 14. Is pushing a stroller. Yes, she's pushing the stroller. That's correct. And finally, number fifteen. Um, let's see, Jessica. Uh, the car is stopping in traffic light. That's correct. The car is stopping at the traffic light. Excellent. Very good, I can see that you can use the present continuous excellent, in an excellent way. So, um, for the present progressive questions, we have uh, this structure. We have the WH word, the verb to be, the subject, and the ING verb form. For example, what am I doing? I am teaching a class. Where is he going? ¿A dónde va él? ¿A dónde está yendo? He's going to the park. Who are you meeting? ¿A quién vas a ver? ¿A quién estás viendo? Who are you meeting? I'm meeting my best friend. Okay? So this is a structure for WH questions. What, where, why, who, or how? And then... We need the verb to be, then we have the subject, and then the ing verb form. Okay, don't forget that we use the verb to be and also the verb in the ing form. So this um this is the structure or the formula for that. Great. So this is just like a very brief. Summary of the present continuous, a review of yesterday's class. And in this moment, we are going to go to the main topic of tonight's class. And is what time is it? What time is it? I can send you a picture of this if you want to review the study, but it's also in your, I think it's also um, in the platform. 
Okay, I will send you a picture so you can have it right away. Now let's go to the time. What time is it? And we have a conversation. What time is it there? I need two volunteers to read the conversation between Debbie and John. Two people. Only two. Luis, great, Luis. And Luis needs a partner. Luis needs a partner. If not, Luis will choose. Luis, can you choose your partner? Ah, okay, Mirna. <laughs> Luis and Mirna. Okay, Mirna, you are Debbie, so you start, Mirna, please. Hello. You start the conversation. Uh -huh. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I am at a conference in Sydney, remember? All right. What time is there? Is ten o'clock. No. Perdón, no sé cómo se pronuncia ten. Uh, is ten o'clock. Uh, yeah. Uh, and is four o'clock there in, in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m. Four a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Poor Debbie. <laughs> okay, so well, there are differences in time depending where you live, right? If you are in El Salvador, but you want to talk to a friend or some relatives that live in Spain, for example, or Italy, there is a big difference, a big difference of time. There is a, dif a time difference. For example, I think here is a 25 p.m. and over there is like uh, the 4 a.m. It's the morning. So it's very interesting, these differences in time. So the question, what time is it? You can see uh, different clocks with the time. For example, this is one o'clock. This is one o five. It's one o five. La una y cinco. Or you can say it's five after one. We have x 115 or x a quarter after one. x 130, x 140 or x 20 to two. We have x 145 or x a quarter to two. So there are two ways or two forms to tell the time. We can tell the time in two forms. I call it the easy, the easy way and the other way. Una es más fácil que la otra, right? One is easier. Mm -hmm. Like in this moment, it's, what time is it? In this moment, in El Salvador. 8.26 p.m. Exactly, it's 8.26. That is the easy way to say the time, to tell the time. But the other way would be, it's 26 after 8. It's 26 after 8. So we say the minutes after the hour. But after the 30 minutes, you say the minutes that are missing before the next hour. 
as we say in Spanish. We can see here this clock. Okay, over here you say o'clock, para decir en punto, we say o'clock. Then here we have five minutes and we can say five past or five after. Okay, it's ten past or it's ten after. Se puede utilizar past or after. Cualquiera de las dos está bien. We have five, ten, a quarter, un cuarto, a quarter, 15 minutes, 20, 25, and then we say half past. Para decir, por ejemplo, las ocho y media, we would say eh, half, it's half past eight. It's half past eight. But then we say the minutes that are missing to the next hour. We say it's 25, for example, it's 25 to 9, it's 20 to 9, it's a quarter to 9, it's 10 to 9, it's 5 to 9. So we have both ways. We can say pass, after, or the easy way. Do you have some questions about this? Well, we can go to the practice. I will send you also a picture of this. Right? And I give you, I'm gonna send you this picture. I'm so sorry for the noise. There are some people working, fixing something outside in the parking lot. Okay, um, well, I have some exercises that we are going to, uh, we are going to practice. But before that, I'm going to, I will, I'm gonna be typing some hours in the chat box and you have to tell me the time, okay? I'm going to mute. For example, A30, in this case, it would be X half past eight. So, las ocho y media. Or X, you can also say X A30. X A30. Or X half past eight. Okay, um, what time is it? What time is it? En la hora que he puesto en el chat. It's two o'clock. Very good. Okay. What time is it? It's a quarter after three. Exactly. And in the other way? It's 3.15. Very good, Maria Jose. Okay, I love it. No tengo audio, soy yo o es la red. No, I have my microphone off. It's because there is a lot of noise in this moment. But you in the chat, 
I am I am writing, for example, Jessica wrote it's 13 to 4, but 445. 445 is a quarter to five. Un cuarto para la cinco. 445 or uh, exactly Jacqueline or it's a quarter un cuarto para la cinco. It's a quarter to five. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Luis. But it's 4.45. Okay, uh, another time, and you tell me, you tell me the hour. Okay, what time is it? What time is it? It's 10 after 6. Exactly, it's 10 after 6 or... It's 10 past 6, Jacqueline. Ahí no le ponemos el 2. Uh -huh. It's or, ajá. La forma más fácil, it's 6, 10. Esa es la forma fácil. Y la otra forma es, como en, han dicho sus compañeros, it's 10 past 6. Right? 10 past 6. Okay, another time. What time is it? It's 10 to 8. Very good, Jose Alejandro. Or if... Or is seven fifty. Mm -hmm. Very good. Another time. What time is it? Uh huh, people. What time is it? It's twenty to nine. Exactly. It's twenty to nine. Uh huh. Para decir ahí sí para la siguiente hora. Si usamos el tú. Bueno, nuevamente vamos, eh, vamos a ver aquí. Vamos a explicar un poquito. Bueno, si pueden ver, no, no pueden ver la pantalla. Ok. In the screen, right? As you can see in the screen here. Um, We can see here, guys. I don't see. Okay, that in this part, aquí decimos los minutos después de la hora hasta las y medias. Pasadas las y medias, vamos a decir los minutos que hacen falta para la siguiente hora. Así se dice en inglés. Okay, and we're going to have some exercises. We're going to have some exercises. And you will see them in a moment. It's dying mute, Miss. Thank you. So what time is it? We have to match. We have to match the time, okay? With the correct sentence, for example, in this case. It's a quarter past five. Exactly, it's a quarter past five. Okay, and this? Two o'clock. 
It's two o'clock. Very good. And this one? What time is it? It's half past seven. It's half past seven. Okay. It's It's 12. It's 12. Exactly. It's 20 past 8. Mm. 24 1. Oh, <laughs> sorry. It's 22 1. 21, exactly. 22 1. Yes. And now the next one? It's 20 past 8. Exactly, very good. It's 25 past two. Yeah, 25 past two or 2.25. Mm -hmm. We continue. It's 5, it's five to 8. It's 5 to 8. It's a quarter past eight. eight. It's a quarter past eight. Uh, um. <laughs> o sea, un cuarto de quarter to eight. Okay. It's a quarter to eight. It's a quarter to eight. Exactly. It's a quarter to eight. It's 22, 12. It's 22, 12. You have a question, Jimmy? It's 25 past 5. Ya vi que No, no, no. Olvide. <laughs> okay. Um the next one. 25 past 5. It's 25 past 5. It's 5 past 6. It's 5 past 6. And in the other form it will be it's 6. Uh, sorry, it's 605. Yes, it's 605. Okay, very good, excellent. I'm going to share the other uh, the other exercise in a moment. In a moment, give me one second. One second. <laughs> you will. I want to say in a moment you will see the other exercise. Okay, just be a little bit patient. Be patient. Again, you have to match the lines. Ay, no sé por qué se me esconden cuando... Ok, cuando comparto pantalla no los veo. <laughs> ok, what time is it? We have to match with lines. In this case... It's 4 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's four o'clock. This one? What time is it? It's half past two. Exactly, it's half past two. Then we have... Maybe it's one. Good. It's six o'clock. It's six o'clock. It's six o'clock, okay. It's half past two. The number two is called? El dos lo puso en one. Did you need a change the number two? Hey, sorry. Espérame, espérame. ¿Cómo era, pues? Vamos a volver a hacer. So it's four o'clock. Yeah, I know. It's four o'clock. Then we have it's half past two. Exactly. 
Then we have x half past one, x six o'clock, and this one? It's two o'clock. Two o'clock. And x? Eleven. It's half past eleven. Half past eleven. Eleven thirty or it's half past eleven. Yes. Remember there are two ways to tell the time. Okay. Excellent. You're very smart. Good. So people, um now we are going to continue with the other part of the lesson that I prepared for to for you this evening. Okay. And there's a slide you will see different times in different parts of the world. We have is it a.m. or p.m. For example, it's seven o'clock or it's seven in the morning. It's seven a.m. It's twelve o'clock or it's twelve p.m. Or it's noon. Noon is al mediodía. Mediodía. It's noon. And then we have it's four in the afternoon. Or it's four p.m. It's seven in the evening. Or it's seven p.m. It's ten at night. Or it's ten p.m. It's twelve at night or x12 a.m. or we can say x midnight okay x midnight mm -hmm. so uh, different times in different parts or different ways to say the time the morning noon in the afternoon in the evening at night at midnight so, usamos la preposición in con morning, afternoon, and evening. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. And for noon, night, and midnight, we use at. At noon, at night, and at midnight. Okay? So, it's, those are the prepositions that we use. And now, class, I will assign you in breakout rooms. You will work in groups. And you will create a similar conversation to the one in the exercise, in the sample. Van a hacer una conversación. You will be in two different places around the world, two different countries, and you have to say a different time. Okay, I don't know if you have it, but if not, I will send you the, I will send you the, the slide the picture so you can you can make the conversation with your partner but you have to change the countries the cities or and the times you have to change the times so i'm going to assign you in rooms Please go to the breakup rooms. Disculpe, yo regresé a la sala principal. En la 1 me pasó a la principal. No han podido entrar a las salas. Uh, a mí me parecía en la sala 1. Ya no, no es. 
Yo no, teacher. Vamos a ver. Jimmy no ha entrado. Los voy a mover. Cuando entren a la sala, hablen, porque a veces hay alguien allí, pero con la cámara apagada. No puede, Jimmy. Ya le envié la invitación, Jimmy. Quizás sea su internet. La, la verdad que no la, No defino si es A o es N. Ah, ok. Sí, es una A, una W, una A, un eh, K de kiosco y una E. Await. Agua, que Ajá, agua, que, que era N. Ah, ok. Ah, ok. Ok, okay. si gusta, empiezo, empiezo y para que cambiemos. Bye, está bien. Eh, hello. Hi, Luis. This. Ay, perdón. Sí, sí. Hi, Luis. This is John. This is Jacqueline. I am calling for us. Australia. Australia. I am a company is Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time it is there? It seems it it is a uh, 10 p.m. o'clock. It's 10 p.m. uh and it's ah okay solamente vamos ah, okay. a cambiarle la nacionalidad como dijo ella eh, no, no leo muy bien ah okay hello miss si escuchan ruido y voy a disculpar pero a mis micrófonos que no me no, 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 no. don't worry just continue practicing uh, okay. your own converse, in the conversation you have to change the country and you have to change the time uh, okay uh, Luis uh, tell me hello ¿Qué otro, qué otro país vamos a poner uno que que tenga algo, alguna diferencia de horarios medio significativa Solo que sea del Medio Oriente, China, por ahí así. Podría ser Japón. El... Uh -huh. Japón. Japón. Son como 10 horas, vea de diferencia. Algo así. Vea, entonces. Ya. Si son las. <ríe> si son las 10.50, podríamos poner que son quizás como las 9 de la mañana. Eh. En Argentina, bueno, no, eight to nine, porque sería las, eh. ajá, it es, it is. Eh, 
Okay, to twelve. Sí, verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. PM. And ah, it. Ajá. And it's from a cloud. <laughs> Mhm. Mm clock there in in los espérame, in los ay no sé qué dice aquí Guadalajara right. Yes, five o'clock in the morning. Five is four. Five again. Oh, I am really, really sorry. That's okay. I am awake now. No. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> awake now. Hoy <laughs> día. Sí. <laughs> no sé si quieres que la repitamos. Si invertimos los papeles. Okay. Hello. Hi, Carmen. This is Margarita. I am I am from El Salvador. I am from El Salvador. El, El Salvador. I am at a conference in Santa Ana, remember. All right. What time? What time is is it here, dear? It is six to nineteen. Yeah, and it is. Um, four tonight. PM there uh -huh. in Usulatan, right? Oh, me pregunto. Ah, yes. Sick. Sick tonight. Sick tonight in the night. Sick tonight. PM. Oh, I am really sorry. Thanks. Okay. I why? No, no. Awake. I'm awake now. Awake now. That's okay. I'm awake now. Okay. Um, what is the city? That what is what is it or not? Usulatan. It's in the same country. It has to be in a different country. No, no comprendo. A different country. Tiene que ser en diferentes países. Que hay oh, un no. Pa no es departamento, sino país. Ah. Yes. No sé. Nosotros lo hicimos en el mismo país, <laughs> pero en diferentes municipios. <laughs> Mm. Ok. <risa> bueno, solo era de cambiar el país. <risa> Time, also, because if you're calling from another country, si está hablando de otro país, they have different, different time. Mm -hmm. Sí. <risa> Es él, él, lo está, él, él lo está despertando a ella. <ríe> que le llama sí, bien sí, temprano. Es que... Ajá. Como ella Como ahí es de noche y, y donde otro... ella... Es...
Okay, people, how was the practice? How was the practice? ¿Cómo estuvo la práctica? The activity. Difficult, easy, or so-so? Difficult. Ay, teacher, me sacó de mi conversación. Ah, no, no. Okay. I would like to hear a couple of students. I would like to hear some students. Okay, so. Volunteers. Some volunteers. Can this say yo? Who says me? Me, teacher, me. Aha, victims then. Elvis? Okay. My partner is Isma. Hi. Okay. Okay, hello. Hi, Elvis. This is Maho. I'm calling from USA. I am at conference in Maryland. Remember? Oh right. What time is it there? It's uh 10, 12 p.m. Um it is 10, 12, 9 o'clock. Yes, it's 10 to 9 in the morning. Yes. Um, is 80, 15 p.m. I am really sorry. That's okay. I'm going to the work. I'm going to the work right now. Oh, that's good. <laughs> we finally. <laughs> Elvis saying what he can say. Okay, another couple of volunteers. Okay, other volunteers. Or do I have some? Yeah, can I this? Hola. Who is Luis? Luis. Luis. Hi. Hi. Okay. Teacher, Hi. teacher, we use the same conversation, but practice. Practice. But it's very okay. 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 Uh, hello. Hi, Luis. This is Jacqueline. I am calling from Australia. Australia? I am a company in Sydney, remember? All right. What time it is there? It's 10, it's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock. There, there is in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Where I am? Oh, I am. I'm sorry. Uh, that's okay. I am awake now. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Remember the. Do you remember the whole part of the countries and nationalities? Well, the pronunciation of these countries. Oh, Australia, Australia, Australia. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, cool. Australia, Australia. Very nice. Well, what time is it? Can somebody tell me the time? Nine of three p.m. 
903 or 3 past 9. So we have past 3 minutes. <laughs> well, guys, I will send you the an exercise for you to practice telling the time during the weekend. And please advance in the platform. You have to complete the section number uh, three or four. I don't remember. Four, right? Section four, yes. So please try to finish. And I will see you on Monday, okay? Have a good weekend. Thank you. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.